Chippa fishing here, sharing the passion of fishing. I was all set to go night fishing last night at Sharon Harris. I was hoping they'd be stacked up, but instead my passion turned to disappointment. Loaded the boat up, ready to rock and roll, plugged my trailer lights up after I hooked up. No trailer lights. Oh, oh. And they worked before, but trailer lights can be fickle at any time most time it's a ground so if you're redoing your trailer lights run a continuous ground all the way to the plug instead of trying to put in a grounding screw which will be compromised sooner or later so go to your source what's your source of power your battery your battery comes back to your lights i have lights here the way that your plug harness works is it pigtails into your actual lights. Uh, you'll have a wire for your turn signal and a wire for your brake come together. You'll have a wire for your turn signal, wire for your brake come together. You'll have a headlight wire and they'll come to the plug. Now, two, two methods of testing. Uh, the second one I used to confirm my first one, you can buy this at the auto parts store, six, eight bucks, something like that. Plug it into your plug. It's got, this is the covered female is the, brand, is the ground. Then you've got right turn signal, left turn signal, and your headlights. I was not getting power to the headlights and I confirmed my way with the fluke meter i'm going to show you right fast how to do the fluke meter and um, it's actually not a fluke meter it's a harbor freight meter uh fluke meters really good good equipment but you know what free 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 with purchase you know with the little coupon from harbor freight and it works it shows current it may not be exact you know, electrical engineer would frown, but you know what? I'm smiling at free. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to test it right here. First of all, you set your meter to uh, DC, and all you're looking for is numbers. It doesn't have to be exact or your decimal place together. I've got my old handy head, headlight on. Okay, so it's on. I'm going to put the black in the ground. And then I'm going, oh, and I sprayed WD-40 in it. So, okay, see that? That's the turn signal. That's the turn signal. Okay, these are headlights here. Nothing, nothing okay nothing there now again you know power to your signal brake light power to your turn signal brake light again aha uh -huh. what does that tell me well it tells me that I probably have an issue in a 15 year old plug it may be the wire and harness that goes from here to there so I know which wire, which plug it is that's probably compromised. So I'm going to go beyond that plug, skin the wire or cut the wire. And I went to the auto parts store. I've got enough things to rewire the whole things, which I'm bring back. But I think it's going to be a plug issue, which could be super sweet. So I'm going to skin back that one wire that I'm having problems with that one prong, which is the lights. Um, I tried last night WD-40, which is always good. Wiggle it around. Always carry some WD-40 for emergency if you're out night fishing or you're fishing late and your trailer light's not working. Pull your emergency brake up, start your vehicle, and turn your lights on. Why, why start your vehicle? So you don't bring your battery down. Okay, so I'm going to skin my wire and i will be back with you in just a second okay your ground will be standalone your power will be 
uh, outside turn signal brake, outside turn signal brake, and lights themselves. So that's the way it'll be. And you'll have a male side and a female side. All right. Okay, folks, do yourself a favor, draw a diagram. Okay, sort of crude, but here we go. My white wire comes to the ground. Uh, the, the continuous headlights on is the brown. The turn signal and brake lights for one side is yellow. Uh, green is the other turn signal and brake lights. So with those, this is what I did last night. Recap, easy to see. Okay. I stuck the ground into here and one turn signal. I got power. I stuck it into the other turn signal. I got power. I stuck it in this one and did not have power. So this, I'm hoping 15 year old plug that this brown wire connected inside here has issues. So what I'm gonna do is skin this wire back and come from my ground to here, ground to there, and then touch this bare wire here. If I have power, hallelujah, praise God, then I just have issues with the plug. And then I will just cut all four and pigtail a new plug in there. So, um, remember safety first. Put your emergency brake on. Go ahead and start your vehicle so you don't have dead battery. Um, I have unhooked my plug. I've got like a little little metal keeper that sandwiches into my, my tow bar. Um, or to the frame. And I cut two zip ties and pulled it out so I have some room undid some electrical tape and I will concentrate on the brown wire since the other two work but so I'm going to skin back the brown wire a little bit and see if I have power if I do then it's a 15 year old uh issue served me well uh between this wire and the plug itself so Let's give it a try. Okay, folks, I have my brown wire skint back. I've got my meter on. And if we see some numbers jump here, we know we're gonna be good. Uh, update. It's probably the module that goes up front. I tried to get it a guy to jack leg or hardwire it he said he would not do it uh there's a separate wire coming from the turn signal separate wire coming from the light separate wire coming from the brake light he wouldn't do it he suggested to try to do what i was gonna do took it to the honda dealer willing to pay that money just to get back on the road you know whatever it takes oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, here we are, um, waiting for the Honda dealer to give me, a, they took a look at it earlier today and said, hey, it's going to take some time to do it. I was like, well, yeah, uh, but I don't have any choice. So, they're going to get a quote on the new harness from point A to point B and which is the plug coming out and give me a quote on the time but whatever it takes i, I just gotta be fishing just gotta be fishing um thanks folks i appreciate y'all uh staying with me i'm trying to get out there uh man i just want to go fishing it's just like good for the soul we'll talk to y'all soon uh hopefully i'll be on the water Peace update cut my wires at the trailer matched them up figure out which side's which side 
I have emergency flashers. I have separate. I have turn signals. I have brake lights. I don't have all three of them together. But I do not have the actual lights. Uh, next step, process of elimination. I can replace the lights. It's going to be a lot cheaper than going to Honda dealership. Replace the lights. Make sure I'm good there. Then, I will replace the plug on the side of the car to make sure that's good that the plug's not bad all right we'll, we'll leave y'all up the update but um it is what it is but hey at least i'll be able to scoot across somewhat legally um at night but yeah safety's the main thing all right y'all be safe too peace